All right, they say let's head into the fast lane with track and field. The Caribbean's best young athletes now shift their focus to the upcoming Carifta Games set for Grenada this weekend. Sportsmax will be broadcasting the action live from the Spice Isle daily from March 30 to April 1. And we're looking ahead to the event and Lance and Mariah. Um, Mariah was very right this time to say that I am excited about the Carifta Games and I can't wait um, to leave the land of wood and water and uh, head to Grenada. Um, no, you suggested it. No, I would never say you're excited about anything again because the last time I innocently said it, no, you no, took no, no, it no. and you ran with it like no, if you were at Carifta. No, 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 no. The last time you said it was my favorite time of year. That's a completely different thing from but, oh saying gosh, I'm excited Ricardo, about something. I just something. know you love track and field and I really was trying to put it out to the viewers to get the point across to them. But you know what? It's not good to be nice to Ricardo and I learned my lesson. So no, I did not say you're excited. I just said you're prepared because I saw you preparing. Oh. Are you prepared? <laughs> How do you know that I'm prepared? Oh, Lord. Well, <laughs> uh, Nic Nicholas Matthews, I'll see you. Ricardo is not prepared. <laughs> I never said I wasn't, but I said, how do you know that you I am? You play riddles on air. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, so yes, I am excited. Um, Are you prepared? And I am preparing for the Carifta Games. And uh, um, <laughs> as I pointed out, Lance, I, I enjoyed the... Boys and Girls Athletics Championships and the various high school championships right across the Caribbean. I think sometimes in Jamaica, um, we think that because Boys and Girls Championships is so massive um, that there are not other exciting high school events across the world. Um, and when you look right across the Caribbean, BSAC in Barbados, um, Grenada, I've actually been um, quite excited about the KFC um, high school event in Grenada for a number of years now. They have fantastic crowds and the performances are pretty good there as well. And we've seen that translate um, in Grenada's track and field up to the highest level. Yeah. Well, remember Linda and Victor told us on the show three weeks ago that it's better than boys and girls jams. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying he said so. <laughs> well, that might be pushing it, but it's great. It's great. Yeah. It's a terrific atmosphere and you have some really good track and field. Um, BSAC in Barbados as well. They had to scale down BSAC in Barbados this year because usually it would be held over like two weeks essentially where you have regionals and yeah. then um, you have the nationals. You um, This time around, they did it within a week, I think three or four days. And whereas you would have two athletes per event per school in the past, this time it was cut down to just one athlete per event per school. So. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that there are a number of young Barbadian high school athletes who are thinking that they missed an opportunity um, to compete this year at BSAC and do well. Um, but I've really enjoyed what I've seen right across the Caribbean. And what it says to me is that there is going to be a certain intensity about Carifta, like it usually is. Um, but there is so much quality around the different events uh, that I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how they match up. I wonder if Adeja Hodge from the British Virgin Islands, for example, will be at Carifta this year. I haven't seen the BVI squad yet, but remember, she was in the Bahamas last year and she had to withdraw at the very last moment because of an injury, if I yes. remember yes. Um, correctly. And uh, she won the U.S. Indoor Nationals for high schools. And so she is in very good form. And there is a certain Tianali Terrelong out of Jamaica who ran 11.22 at the high school championships. We didn't get the clash with Alana Reed a year ago. I would love to see the clash with Terrelong at 100 and Shanoya Douglas at 200 meters. So that would really be great since we missed it last year. Yeah, and just to highlight the point that you just made about the quality of some of the athletes coming out of these other schools' championships throughout the region, I think that is underlined by the fact that from time to time, we see non-Jamaican athletes winning titles at boys and girls' champs, yes. which, which tells you that a lot of these countries in the rest of the Caribbean um, have a lot of talent as well maybe the development process that That's Jamaica it. affords the athletes is what would put them ahead. But, you know, you think of people like Jean L. Hughes and 
Delano Williams and just last weekend Amal Glasgow from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Who is not a junior anymore, by the way, but still. Yeah, but he comes here and, 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 and beats the Jamaican yeah. best athletes. John L. Hughes was a classic. This yeah. is 100 meters where Jamaicans pride themselves as the best. And this little man from Anguilla comes here and dominates and wins. So yeah. I think those, those performances tell you that the quality of track and field in the Caribbean is not limited to Jamaica. And there are yes. a lot of, lot of really good athletes outside in the rest of the Caribbean. All right, yeah. let's go to St. Kitts and Nevis then. Delwyn Duane is the president of the St. Kitts and Nevis Athletics Association. Of course, he himself a former sprinter, and they have named a 27-member squad for the Carifta Games. Delwyn, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. It is a pleasure to have you. How are you doing, and how are the preparations going for the start of Carifta this weekend? Thank you. Thank you for having me here, Sportsmax team. Preparations are going well. Actually, we are at the stadium, we're at the Nevis Athletic Stadium. Um, in the background there, where we have our team has is been doing to some pieces, you know, as it relates to Willie and so on. And so preparations are going quite well, uh, as um, much anticipated um, character games um, to be held in Grenada over the Easter weekend. And so we are prepared. The team is ready. The team is focused, um, geared up to go, and we 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 all we all in good spirits over here. Yeah, can you give us an idea of some of the key names to look forward to at Carifta this weekend from a St. Kitts and Nevis perspective? Yes, um, I, I, I would say all our athletes are of a good caliber as it relates to the, 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 the team that is traveling. Um, but to highlight some persons who are returning and, and who may be um, termed veterans, uh, we have Mr. Jermad Huggins, who just missed a medal on both occasions, that being the Octathlon and the the high jump, placing fourth, and he's returning. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Jalen Bennett, silver medalist, and they're on the 1,400 meters. We have Deshanel Thomas, who also captured the um, bronze medal in the 400 meters on the 17 girls, and so as well as we have um, our Akanya Samuel Francis, who Francis Samuel, who won the 400 meter hurdles, and so he's returning as well. And so these are persons that we are, um, who the other youngsters and the newbies will be looking towards for, for encouragement, for, for, you know, I mean, the, lean on their experience in ensuring that, you know, they capture some silverware. And if not, so um, have a good showing at this year's character games. Yeah, I have to put this one to you, Delwyn, because Lance just brought it up in terms of the number of Caribbean participants we see in the high school system in Jamaica from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Antigua and Barbuda. Um, we see them from Trinidad and Tobago as well. But we've not seen athletes from St. Kitts and Nevis. Is there a particular reason for that, um, that we've not seen athletes from St. Kitts and Nevis compete in the high school system here in Jamaica? Um, not particularly. Uh, we have a small system and a very competitive system here um, in relation to the high school. Um, over the last two or so years, we have seen the increase in um, participation. We have seen the increase in uh, performances as well. And we are able to feel, you know, strong teams out of our system. Um, we are not opposed, you know, the, the Jamaican system but as well as we, we know, we, we want to develop what we have here as much as possible and as far as possible as well, because it's not everyone um, is afforded the, that opportunity and it's not everyone um, who, who would want to, to, to take that route. And we have to be mindful of that. And so we have to ensure that our local program is sturdy and strong at the same time. But nonetheless, we have seen um, the, the athletes who have traveled to, to, to Jamaica and in the, in, enrolled in the high school system do quite well. Um, we, we understand that we have been, you know, exploring softly that option with a few of our athletes over here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, but for the time being, um, it has not materialized.
All right. Yeah. Well, let's see how that will go, Delway. And by the way, Lance says that if you continue to explore, um, he has a few spots at Woolmers that he can send um, some of your athletes. <laughs> so <Not right. laughs> you can consider <laughs> that if you right. will. <laughs> Delway, it's a pleasure having you, and I'm sure um, we'll be seeing you in Grenada this weekend. Mm -hmm. Indeed, thank you. All right, take care. Delway oh, Duane, yeah. President. What is going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening with Ricardo? <laughs> Let me tell you about the Carifta Games. It will be on the channel. You want to speak for yourself, no, I, I, just, I just wanted to suggest that Calabar needs help in trying, to, <laughs> in trying to top the Kingston College, so I'm not sure why he's trying to enlist people at Woolmers. Lance, did you hear the yes. Calabar manager on this show some months ago saying that they are developing local talent and they are not looking overseas at this time? Yeah, but you're a part of the Calabar fraternity, so you should help to, to change that narrative. So speak for Calabar, not for Lance's Woolmers. <laughs> Let me tell the viewers about the Carifta Games. Of course, it will be live on your home of champions. And Ricardo and our entire Sportsmax team, along with our producer Gerard Morisili, will be getting ready for this big event. As I said, live from Grenada on your home of champions. You don't want to miss it. And it's coming up this Easter weekend for those of you that's looking for something to tune into. We don't want to miss it.